Today we'll see one of the real time requirement that is Swiggy coupon code validation using PLSQL. We all know that Swiggy is one of the food delivering app. To attract the customer, they will provide so many coupons. In this video, we'll see two condition that is like user entered some coupon, we need to validate whether the coupon is valid or not. And the second condition is that when the user enter one coupon and it got applied successfully and he wants to enter the same coupon within two hours, we need to throw an error like coupon already applied, try after two hours. When you try to enter after two hours, we need to say that coupon applied successfully. This is one of the real time requirement. In order to solve this requirement, you should have better understanding of the following concept that is count and aggregate function. Processor, you should know what is processor, how to create a processor. And you should have better understanding of the conditional statement that is if and end if, and also C state. Let us understand these concepts so that it would be easy to clear the real time requirement. First one is the count. Count is an aggregate function. This is one table, coupon codes. I need to get the list of active coupons. Like I want to get the count of active coupons. This is the query. So select count of one from coupon codes. Coupon codes is the table here. We need to get the active records. So status equal to active. So I'll get two records. Next one is the procedure. In order to apply business logic, we'll make use of procedures. Procedures are nothing but a PLS skill block, it's a named object used for creating business requirement. We'll see the simple sample procedure so that we can able to get understand what exactly the syntax it could be. The simple hello world PLS skill procedure. The syntax would be create or replace procedure and the procedure name, whatever name you want to give, we should give. And as begin, and end. Begin and end, there will be like execution block. We need to write the business logic over the execution block. So there are several ways to execute a procedure by using exe procedure name or by using anonymous block. This is syntax for it. And also we can call the procedure by using in a procedure or in a function or in a package, we can able to call the processor. By using execute by using anonymous block, we can able to execute begin sample procedure and so we'll get the output hello world. We have written DBMS output so that output will be printed on the console. Next one is the if and if it is the conditional statement. With a simple example, we can able to understand. So we are writing one condition like if 100 greater than 50, then we need to print 100 is greater than 50. Else, we are printing 50 is greater than 100. So we know that 100 is greater than 50. So output would be 100 is greater than 50. By using anonymous block, we can able to execute the processor. So output is 100 is greater than 50. Next one is the sysstate. Sysstate is one of the pseudo column provided by Oracle. By using sysstate, we'll get the date and timestamp. Suppose that I have written select sysstate from dual. The current timestamp is 529.59. Okay. So I want, so we know that in a day there are 24 hours. If you want to get last one hour data, we'll get sysstate minus one by 24. So we'll get one hour data, last one hour data. That is, Earlier it is 05.29.59, now it is 04.29.59. If you want to get last two over, what we'll do, we'll write two by 24. The output would be 03.29.59. This concept will be used to validate the second Swiggy coupon code validation. Now we'll see the first condition that is coupon validation. Like, that is like the user entered coupon code is valid or not. So for this, we need to have two tables. One is coupon codes. In this coupon codes, we'll get the list of coupon codes which are active and inactive. And also we'll get, the, we have the order details table, like where, whether the user placed to order, we'll get uh, like list of orders placed by user, particular user. And also the coupon code applied and order time. So order ID is the combination of like user ID and we are extracting the month and it's a sequence, like the last four is a sequence. 
So for every month, this value will be changes like 100 April. So if, if you use user applied in March, we'll get March. If you use user applied in April, like 100 April 001. So in the same month, if we apply it like 001 will become 002. It's a sequence number. So these are the two important tables like coupon codes and order details. Now we'll see the procedure. The syntax would be same like create or replace procedure procedure name. So you're using the procedure name as coupon validation. So one input value, one output value. The P coupon is the input parameter passed by the user. So what we need to do, we need to do like status equal to active. So we need to check the coupon code is active or not and it is present in the coupon codes or not. So this is the select statement. The result should be stored in some variable. So I'm passing one local variable here. L count is one local variable. So result will be stored in L count. The requirement is that the user rendered coupon that is P coupon will be stored and we are passing this parameter into our table that is coupon codes. Now we need to write a conditional statement like if L count equal to one, that means coupon is there in our table. So then we need to print like we need to pass the P or P message that is valid coupon. Else that means that no record is there. Then we are saying that it is not a valid coupon. This is the syntax for a procedure. Now, if you want to execute this one, we'll see. By using anonymous block, we are able to, we are executing this procedure. So what we are, we know that these are the three coupon codes available in the coupon codes table. So I have entered the user entered Swiggy 8. So Swiggy is it already is present in the table. Then we need to say like it's a valid coupon. So we know we should have we should have like uh, we are applying Swiggy it, but in the uh, table it is uppercase. So we are writing what we are writing here up, upper. So whatever the user entered, it is a case sensitive. So case insensitive. Like whatever the user entered, we can able to handle by using upper function. So now the user entered new year. We know that new year is inactive, inactive coupon code. So output should get like a, not a valid coupon. So we know that new year is expired coupon. So when it, when user try to enter the coupon, then we need to display to the user that, that it is not a valid coupon. So that first condition is clear. Now we'll see the second condition. The requirement is that suppose user when user entered one coupon and it got applied successfully and he want to apply the same coupon within two hours, we need to say that coupon code is already applied. We need to enter after two hours. So the, the user entered after two hours, like if the user want to, if, if the user tries to enter after two hours, then the coupon should be work, like it should apply successfully. So this is the orders table, user ID, order ID, order time, coupon name. So I have placed one order today. That is like 100, 100 April 001 is the order ID. And order time is that I have placed an order at 10001 and the coupon name is Swiggy It. So I have placed an order at 10 o'clock and the coupon name is Swiggy It. So we'll need to write a procedure to validate like within two hours, we need to throw an error. So we have user ID and P coupon. So these are the two input parameters and we need to P message the output parameter. Select count of one from order details. So we need to get the details from order details table. So where user ID, so user ID and coupon name. So whatever the coupon he applied and order time. So this is the important condition that order time is greater than 68 minus two by 24. That is last two hours he made any order or not. We need to check. This is important condition. I repeat here. We need to check like within two hours he made any order or not. That can be achieved by using order time greater than equal to 68 minus two by 24. Two by 24 in the sense like 68 like we'll get two day, two hours back records like two hours data will get. 
So the select data, uh, so we need to store the result in some variable that is local variable. So this is the table like for clear, clear understanding that user pays an order at 10, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, Swiggy 8. So we need to write the conditional statement like if L count equal to one, then P message coupon already applied, try after two hours. That means he applies the order within two hours. If no record is there, then so if L count equal to zero, then it means that he doesn't place an order within two hours. So then we need to say like coupon applied successfully. This is a procedure. So we need to execute this procedure. By using anonymous block, we can able to execute this one. So here the coupon, here the processor name is same coupon validation. The two parameters we need to pass that is from the user. So 100 is the user and the coupon code is Swiggy 8. So for uh, displaying the result, we need to use TVMS output. So this is the table. So the condition is that the user ID 100 and Swiggy 8 is the coupon. So we write the condition like uh, we need to check like the order is placed within two hours. So the user entered like user want to enter the coupon like Swiggy it after 110101. So it tries to apply the coupon code after one hour after placing one order. So we know that we should we should like uh, it should be applied within it should be applied after two hours. Then the result would be coupon already applied, try after two hours. We know that you should place the order at 2.0.0.1.0.2 so that the coupon code will be applied. So now the time is 2.0.0.1.0.2 and he wants to place the order. So we know that it is it completed two hours. Then the output would be like coupon applied successfully. Like he wants to place the order after two words. Our condition is that when he when he placed after two words, it the coupon should be applied successfully. So these are the some coding standards we need to follow while doing uh, writing any real time projects. Like parameters, like p and the parameter should be like p underscore parameter name. It should be like simple example, P and its core coupon name, camp, camel case it is. Like uh, the starting letter would be C, uh, like uppercase. Local variables should be like P L underscore count. The function name or procedure name or package name like should be like self-explanatory. By using the name, we should understand like this is the purpose of it. We are writing for coupon validation. So example is that coupon validation. We should understand that this process is related to coupon code, like coupon code validation. If you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.